Hi guys, welcome to my channel MGS Knowledge Hub. In the last video, we has we have seen the process flow the of the chapters for the revision of ISCA, right? Today in this session, we are going to see overview of each chapter. That is what uh, we are going to study in that. Okay. So uh, let us once recollect the flow of chapters. First, we are going to do chapter two, then chapter five, then chapter three, then chapter four, then chapter seven, then chapter one, then chapter six, and the last is chapter eight. So, what does it contain? Chapter two. The name of the chapter is Information System Concepts. It describes uh, the basic concepts of what is information system, what are the variety or different types of information system available, and what are their characteristics and limitations. So it it forms the base of our paper. Then comes chapter five. Chapter five deals with acquisition, development, and implementation of information system. Because once we understand what are the different kinds of system, we need to build one. So we'll be learning here various stages of developing a system, system development life cycle, what are the tools and various methodologies available for the building of these systems, and uh, some other concepts like programming. And what are system analysis? We'll be learning here. Then comes in the flow chapter three. You have the concepts now. You have built the system. Now you need to protect it. That is protection of information system. We will be seeing here what are the different kinds of threats that will be affecting an entity and the information system. What are the various security information controls that we need to take care? What are the various areas from which threat can arise? And what are the control objectives, and what are the different kind of controls can be placed so that the information system can be protected? Then comes chapter four: business continuity planning and disaster recovery planning. Even though you have taken all the efforts for protection of a system, there might be some uh, disaster or uneven, uncertain event which may affect your business, and in turn will be affecting your IT systems. So, what is this concept of business continuity planning? What is the concept of disaster recovery planning? How the planning is programmed? What are the steps taken, and how it is being implemented? We'll be learning in this chapter. Then chapter number seven, information technology regulatory issues. We'll be seeing what are the laws, rules, and regulations that will be affecting the information technology, and with, to which the entity or the company or any business organization which is using the IT must adhere to. And uh, regulation regulatory bodies like SEBI for capital markets, RBI for banks, and IRDA for insurance sector. These uh, regulatory bodies have uh, given their own requirements for the information technology purpose. So, what are those and how to comply them? We'll be learning in this chapter seven. Then chapter one: concept of governance and management of information system. Governance means the way in which the company is being led. And uh, uh, how the information system is being channelized into the system, into the company. Uh, what is the roles and responsibilities of the management? What is the concept of governance for that company? And uh, how does IT play important role in the business? So this all we'll be seeing in this chapter. Then comes chapter six, auditing of information system. So auditing is done because we need an external compliance. We need an external confirmation from the outside party that uh, the information system, what is being implemented in the organization, is, is up to the mark. So four will be we need an audit to be done. So in this chapter we'll be seeing audit. What is an IS audit? How it is being planned? What are the best practices and standards for the auditing of information system? So we are going to see those things. And then comes the last topic, chapter number eight. Emerging technology. So in this chapter, we are seeing various new kinds of technology like cloud computing, bring your own device, green IT. These are these are new emerging concepts in the industry. So we will be learning them so that we can equip ourselves with the latest technologies. In this manner, we will be completing the revision of this uh, paper so that we can give our best in the examination. So uh, please keep watching for more videos. And if you like this concept of the revision, kindly subscribe to my channel. And kindly share it to your friends so that they can also get a good revision of ISCA ISCA paper, and you can attempt the examination in a confident way. Take care.